What's going on guys, Bobby here, and today we're actually going to be playing a lot of different brawlers on Heist, Rolling Rumble, and we're going to decide which ones we like the most. Let's hop into it. Alright guys, so this is what the map looks like. Now this map is really good for bull and for thrower. Now we're going to have our teammates be playing bull and thrower and usually there's a question mark surrounding what should the third be. Now there's a lot of options. You can go double thrower, you can go Nita, you can go Jesse, you can go Rico. So we're going to go all of those options and we're going to decide which ones we think are the best. Let's hop into it. So here we go into the first game. So we're going to be playing double thrower bull. And we're going to be trying out Dynamite. Now, Dynamite is my personal favorite brawler to play on this map. I don't know how good he is alongside another thrower, but we're going to try him out anyways. So now there's Crow in the middle. I don't really think Crow is that good of an option on this map. At least that's what I personally think. Maybe this Crow is going to prove me wrong. I don't know. We're going to see if we can get this Colt. We are able to get the Colt. This Crow is being super annoying right now. I'm gonna shoot up over there. I think J. Oh, wow! This crow's actually putting in some work. Wow, we're unable to get the crow. This crow is dominating us. Holy, Toma is doing the big carries. He's actually was able to do 58 whole percent to the opposing safe, and that's a big carry right there. This crow isn't gonna be able to do that many. As you guys saw, the crow actually dominated us, and you see how much damage he did after a cold super in our safe, and the penny got a few shots off. Crow just doesn't do enough damage for me, I feel like, anymore, and I feel like Crow definitely needs a buff, if you agree. Someone put buff Crow in the chat, and then give a big thumbs up to that comment if you agree with the Crow buff. Anyways, we're going to go over here, we're going to be able to kill the safe, and that's going to be our game with Mike. Now, I don't think Mike was too good when it comes to playing alongside Barley and Bull, just because I feel like... It's not really good to have two throwers on the same team because you don't have that consistency that you should have with your team comp as well as they're good at the same things and weak at the same things. And I definitely feel like you guys can definitely get countered really easily. But anyways, let's hop into the second game and let's see what brawler we're going to pick. So here we go into the second game here. Now we're going to actually be trying Nita. Now, Nita is my personal favorite brawler in the game, at least competitively, because I feel like she's so good at just everything. There's not a weak point to Nita, and you can outplay any brawler with her. Now, we're going to be able to kill the Colt over there. We're going to move up and face off against the Spike. Now, we're going to be able to get him. No, we're going to be able to push him back, though. We're going to be able to hit him there. And we're going to put a bear in front of us because the Spike and the Colt, their shots don't pierce. So, we're going to be able to have that Colt, uh, I mean, the bear actually protect us and be able to body block for us now we're going to move towards the safe we're getting value well because our shots are piercing so we're hitting not only the safe but as well a brawler which is charging our super we're going to put this bear down in front of us because it's going to give us some additional health as well as body block while we just hit the safe over here and that is going to be it for the second game now my thoughts on nita i really really enjoy nita now this team wasn't the strongest but Nita can actually be hurt just because she's not super good at anything. She's just well-rounded. So I definitely wouldn't have Nita be the center of your comp. But if you have a good Barley and a good Bull like we, like I do at least on my team. And if you can have that on your team, then I definitely recommend going Nita. Just for that consistency and overall great character play. Now let's hop into the third game and see which Barley we're going to choose for the third one. And let's actually give it a ranking. So here we go into the third game. Now I said we're going to give it a ranking and I forgot to rank the first two. So if I were to rank Dynamite on this map, I'd probably give him an A-. And if I were to rank Nita, I would probably give him a B+. Those are two really good brawlers for this map. And I feel like they're both pretty excellent if you're playing them co correctly. Now we're going to be going Rico. Now Rico is obviously famous on this channel because we have been uplo uploading a bunch of Rico lately. I just really enjoy playing Rico. He's definitely one of the most fun brawlers to play. Now we're going to see if we can get the collateral right there. We are able to. Just like stuff like that is so fun to do with Rico. Just being able to hit those angles and absolutely destroy enemies. Now we're going to see their Rico going through the middle. We're likely going to be able to get him. We're just going to target their Barley and take him out super easily. And we're just going to stand here and shoot the safe. Now it looks like their Rico is going to come onto us over here. 
We're gonna try and stay out of the way of that Rico Super that he has. We're gonna be able to kill it and continue going for the safe over here. The Barley is gonna come back to life. Let's see if we can kill the Barley with a nice bounce. So we did a bounce so we can do at least 500 damage to the safe with each ball instead of 420 because we have a max brawler. I don't know why Toma and JK are just standing here. They're kind of wasting a lot of time and they're letting the other brawlers push up very easily. We're probably going to be able to end the game here unless we're doing some body blocking. We were able to tie and it goes to 9%. I definitely wouldn't recommend having two people just stand in the back of the map doing nothing. Or even, they weren't even doing nothing but just getting one brawler. It seems it's definitely just a waste of your brawler and you have to be around for brawlers not to move up. Like you don't have to necessarily be doing anything but just the sheer presence of you being around will stop brawlers from moving up and stuff like that. Anyways, let's hope they're not able to end the game here. We are going to have to take out the Barley, which we're unsuccessful in doing so. It looks like they're going to win the game, and they are going to be able to win the game. Now, we're definitely going to post this game because I do show the losses. It's a real channel where we do show real results. If I were to give Rico a ranking, I'd probably give him also a B, just because we were able to excel and do a lot. Unfortunately, our teammates did get into that predicament in which I think they played it very incorrectly, but I think Rico was ultimately very good and we just faced a little bit of a better team compared to the other games. So we're gonna give him a B, just like we gave Mita. Let's hop into the next game. So here we go into the fourth game here. And now we're actually gonna be trying Jesse. Now Jesse, in my opinion, is the most well-rounded brawler for the side outside of Nita for every single game mode and every single map. She's just awesome. And, but this is with star power. Non-max Jesse obviously isn't as strong and her being able to shoot her turret is basically the reason why she is so strong. So if you don't have a max Jesse, I definitely wouldn't recommend playing her on maps where you don't clearly excel with her. But with that being said, here she is pretty good, especially while max. So we're gonna be putting up the turret over there. Now this isn't the best turret placement. We kind of just wanted to make sure we stay alive. Now we're gonna two tap this, this crow over here and focus on this bull so he doesn't come onto our safe. We see an unsuspecting Primo, so we're going to get a couple free shots on him. Perhaps just one. We don't want to go too close because there's a Primo in here. Now, our teammates don't see the Primo. That isn't very good. It would take us a while to kill a Primo unless we have our turret out. So let's move up over here. Just because we're getting a little bit bored of waiting for the Primo. We're going to play around with him. We're going to shoot our turret. He's going to be pretty low. He's going to be over here. And me and Toma likely will be able to kill him fairly easily. They do have their Crow here as well now. Looks like their entire team is actually here. Now they're having a pretty big push. They're able to do some good amount of damage. We're able to take out their bull. So their crow is likely, oh my God, he jumped on me. I don't know why he would jump on me, but he did. Anyways, we're doing pretty good with Jesse so far on the defensive end. Now we're gonna see if we can move up and get some middle ground and try and play some solid offense over here. Now I think I'm just gonna put the turret right over here. We actually are going to go down to the crow, but we do have a turret spamming the safe. We're going to be able to take out this bull if Toma isn't able to. Now we are having trouble on the offensive end, even just getting there. It looks like Jesse is super, super good for defense, but we are struggling with gaining middle control as well as keeping up an offensive attack. Now it looks like we have JK on the safe, our barley. We're going to be putting down our turret just because there is a big threat on our safe right now. And as you guys can see, the Jesse turret did a great job of taking them out. We're gonna be able to kill this guy over here. That's like a little quick team wipe with the turret help. We're just gonna put a turret right over here and start hitting it. We're probably gonna get another turret back, but they wasted their shots and now do not and have no health. So we're gonna keep shooting the safe. We are gonna take the lead. The bounce shots are doing a lot of work right now. Hopefully we're able to get the win. We need one more shot and there we go. Now that was a really good game actually. The Jesse worked out really well. But this comp is really counter, like Jesse really counters this comp. I'd probably give Jesse a B plus. So a second highest rating of what we've played so far. She's definitely a really good middle option. And as you guys can see, she is unreal for defense. Let's hop into our fifth and final game. And this is what I think is the best option so far. So here we go in the fifth game and my personal favorite brawler on this map to mid with is Spike. Now I'm going to show you guys why. Now Spike definitely is not head over heel with anyone else. He doesn't excel too much. Everyone is good at their own thing. But I personally like Spike because you see a bull every single game on this map and he's able to take out tanks with ease. Also double tank is very 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 common on this map so you are able to counter that with the Spike. Now with Spike obviously you're going to want to focus the tanks. You're not really going to go for the throwers as that's just not your job. 
We see a Primo going for the safe over here. We are able to hit him once, so he isn't going to regen. We're going to try and take him out over here. We're going to be successful in doing so. We do have a mic coming towards us, though. Hopefully, we are able to get it, which we are. Now, as I've said, Spike is crazy for defense, but you can also get some really good offensive pressure going. As you can see, the Primo tried to come up on us, but because we are a Spike, he was not able to do so. We're going to be able to hit him over. Oh, we're not actually going to be able to hit him, but we do have a really good offensive attack going. We're just going to help out our teammates in making sure that they don't die since we don't do too much direct pressure. I mean, too much direct damage. We're going to go on the safe over here. We're just going to kind of spray the safe down because we have the barley next to us, and that is going to be it for the fifth game. Four, four and one, that's not too bad. We lost with the Rico, even though I think Rico is one of the better options. Probably third or fourth on my list. Anyways, these are the five main ones that you guys want to have for, for your mid on this map. You want to have the bull, a thrower, and then one of these five for sure. You guys saw exactly how each five of them played and how to play each five. And I hope you guys are able to make a selection for which mid you would play on this map based on your skills using this video and seeing the play styles you can have with each brawler. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. I do apologize I didn't get a video out yesterday even though I'm trying to do it daily. I was just super tired and I was having a really busy day and I just wasn't able to get one out and I didn't have anything pre-recorded. But anyways, thank you guys for the support. I'll be back again tomorrow. Thank you. Peace.